table foods. Time for a high caliber breakfast in bed. Oh, oh, I do so love the smell of burnt plastic in the morning. Sarge, thanks for the rescue. My pleasure, Colonel. I only hope the Bravo Company Commandos made it out okay. Colonel, we got a blue tank parked in the town below. Spies, no doubt. Pilot, take it down for a look. Colonel, you need a medic. What I need is to defeat the Tan Army. Now you take us down. You heard the Colonel. Land this bird! success. Why, if the sneak attack had been any more of a surprise, I wouldn't have known about it myself. <laughs> General Plastro? Yes, little man? Colonel Grimm and the Sarge have escaped our forces and have captured a blue intelligence officer and, well, to make matters worse, Sarge found one of our poor... What? Colonel Grimm and Sarge have escaped... I heard you. It was a rhetorical what? Does anyone else have any good news they'd like to share? No, no sir, not me. Nothing. That portal must not fall into green hands. Now double the men to secure the perimeter. And as for Colonel Grimm, perhaps we can find some other way to persuade him to surrender. of our courageous soldiers, dead from Plastro's new super weapon, a death ray. That monster, that evil maniacal tyrant, that thing is barbaric, it's, it's merciless. Can, can we build one? Negative. Our engineers don't have the technology. We've never seen anything like this. Then where is Plastro getting these magnificent, I mean, uh, horrific weapons? From a world outside our own, son. The Blue Spy revealed that these weapons were found in a parallel dimension and transported here through a device they're calling a, uh, a portal. A portal? That must be what I chased that Blue Spy through. Apparently so. Spy also confirmed that the members of Bravo Company are being held hostage in different enemy camps. Now your first priority is to get your squad back together. No matter how bleak our struggle appears, the Green Nation will fight on to defeat Blastro and to destroy his super weapons. And cut! That's a wrap! Oh, that was great, Dad! But, um, off the record, any idea where Plastro is getting these super weapons? And yeah, now you know that's classified information, Vicky. Reporting is ordered, sir! Yeah, oh, <laughs> Hello, Vicky. <laughs> Hi, Sarge. I think we're done, Vicky. The Tan forces are closing in. Now, don't you leave the compound. I don't want you in any danger. Oh, Daddy, I can take care of myself. I'm serious, Vicky. If anything happened to you, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> you worry too much. That's sweet. Wipe that dumb-looking smile off your mug, soldier. We just learned the Tan Army is transporting hundreds of weapons through the Dimensional Portal for a massive attack against us. Dimensional Portal? Then we've got to locate the portals and destroy them. Precisely. We've located one of them near an enemy camp. The same camp they're holding your machine gunner thick and Hoover your minesweeper. I 
Alice in Wonderland. <sighs> Someone's gonna pay for this. Side sing. This is Vicky Grimm in enemy territory, reporting this exclusive story. The Green Army has uncovered the source of the Tan Army's secret weapons. A portal to another dimension. From this alternate world, Plastro has brought tools of mass destruction with which he could very possibly win the war. Where did these portals lead? And just how many of these portals does Plastro have in his possession? Not enough. Uh-oh. Yes! Yeah. Sarge, I sent a platoon to secure the portal you located. Unfortunately, the Tan Army destroyed it before we could get there. Well, at least they won't get any more weapons to it, sir. Well, they also found this. Oh, I, I, I don't photograph her well, sir. I mean, you this know. This is Vicky's camera. Plastro has captured my daughter. What? That fiend. I'm really starting to hate that guy. Sir, just leave it to me. I'll get her back. If he hurts her in any way. This is your last chance. Tell me the location of the Green Army headquarters. Never! Oh, don't touch me. What is going on? What are you idiots doing? Oh. Oh. Oh, General Plastron. Thank goodness. Please, don't let him hurt me anymore. Excuse me? I'll do anything. I can help you. We can win this war. Together. <clears throat> Guards, uh, cut her loose. Let's, uh, oh, let's, let's uh, negotiate. Sweetie, say it with more conviction. Strength. Maybe if you shared your plan with me, I could direct you better. <laughs> After all, I did tell you where the Green Army headquarters is. You can trust me. Yes, I know I can. <laughs> the hour is at hand when the Tan Nation will take its rightful place as the most supreme power in the world. I will give Colonel Grimm 48 hours to surrender, or everything that he holds dear will cease to exist. And I do mean... everything. <laughs> we can't surrender. We have no choice. The Tan Army is advancing on all fronts. We have no defense against their super weapons. This war is all but over. If we could destroy the remaining portals, we could even the odds, sir! The last one is located in the heart of the most heavily guarded fortress ever built, Fort Plastro. I'll get in or die trying. It's a one in a million chance, boy. Sounds like good odds to me. It's suicide. Colonel, suicide is my middle name. Well, actually, it was my brother's middle name. The one who... died. <laughs> Your weapon, or she dies. <laughs> See, I told you it would work. What? Thank you. Oh no. <laughs> 
How could you? <laughs> what a fool you are, Sarge. Do you really think you could have slipped into my fortress so easily? This is an overplastro. Au contraire. <laughs> That's French. It's quite over for you and your green army. Throw him into the pit. Wait. One farewell kiss, please. For old time's sake. Well, seeing as how it will be his last. But no French out of you. Watch out for bugs. Mm. All right, I think that's enough. All right, enough. Oh! Oh! So much for dinner. Yeah. Well, this is a lucky breakthrough. Sergeant, the information on the film you provided contains all of Plasto's diabolical plans. Good work. Nah. I'm just the delivery boy, Colonel. Vicky's the real hero. Plasto's attack is scheduled for tomorrow at dawn, which is why we will attack him tonight, when he least expects it. Our forces are weak, so I need you to sneak in and throw the first punch. Finally, a good old-fashioned stand-up fight. They knew of our plans. How could they? Oh, I feel like such an idiot! Ah, if the shoe fits. I'll deal with you later! Well, hello, what are we waiting for? Let's light the bomb! Now, uh, the area's secured, Colonel, but no sign of Plastro or Vicky. Oh, they must have escaped through the portal. Organize the search party. We'll have to go in. Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding. Shh. Fella could get himself blown up doing what you're thinking about doing, Sarge. But hey, who wants to live forever, right? Are you all right? No, I'm not all right. I've been stuck to this box for hours now. What took you so long? Well, I guess you could say I got a little sidetracked. There was an army in my way. Where's Plastro? He was headed for the last portal. Well, then that's where we're headed to. Wh what are you doing? You're not gonna jump. Are you crazy? Crazy enough to strap my butt to a rocket to save you. Come on, take my hand. You're out of your mind. I'm not gonna... You talk too much. Let's go. Sure know how to show a girl a good time. You ain't seen nothing yet. Now you know where this last portal is? Yeah, through that crack and across the... Great, we could... What's wrong? Oh, run, run! I'll meet you at the portal, just run! Oh, 
Oh, that should buy her some time. Hope she knows where she's headed. Because I sure don't. All right. The portal must be through that huge corridor. As soon as I get there, we'll destroy it and save the Green Nation. <laughs> Not too shabby for a day's work. Except you have it backwards, Sarge. I will save the portal and then destroy the Green Nation! Plastro! Why don't you drop that gun and face me like a man? Because I'm the bad guy, that's why. You know, it's a shame someone as brave as you would be made of green plastic. Why, if you weren't about to die, <laughs> I'd invite you to see me wed Miss Vicky Grim Plastro. Just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? <laughs> your brain's gone soft, you twisted maniac. She wouldn't marry you on your best day. How about my worst? <laughs> Excellent move. I didn't see that coming. You're quite clever. But do you think you can outsmart a bullet? Hmm? Maybe not. But I bet that thing could. What thing? Oh, oh, oh. That thing. Oh, mommy. I don't think the world's ready to be overrun by a chew toy. Have a nice day. And I can assure you, we will not stop until General Plasto and his Tan Army is defeated up something fierce. Okay, go through the portal, and then I'll blow it. <laughs> oh, oh, I like prisoners. Prisoners are good. Oh, there's so much you can do with them. And as for Colonel Grimm, oh, perhaps we can find some other way to be... Oh, damn it. <laughs> now, Vicky, Vicky, Vicky. Well, what are we going to do with you, girl? You're just like your mother. Full of... <laughs> Gosh, I... Ah, doggone it. Sorry. Ah, this darn war is getting to me. <laughs> Take care of myself. <clears throat> All right, you just get through that portal and I'll blow it to smithereens. Wherever the hell that is. Ditch this picnic. Okay, get through that portal, then I'll blow it to smithereens. Hurry. You heroic little fool. You almost had me there. Oh, and that dog needs a mint. I know, for a moment, I know what it was like to be a kibble. And in a few seconds, you'll know what it's like to be bits. You know, the are you insane? Why can't you just accept your defeat? In all my days of villainy, I've never been anyone as stubborn as you. So you want to die? Fine, we'll both die! Here, boy! What? No, that dog, you put me down. Oh, drop it, drop it. Oh, I hate dogs, rule. Oh, Vicky. Daddy! But where's Sarge? Oh, no. Man, I got 
lot of work on my landings. Ugh. Sarge! Yeah. Sarge! Oh, you all right? You know what I'm saying? Well done, Sarge. All in a day's work, sir. I guess your plan wasn't so bad after all. Go ahead, Sarge. That's an order. <laughs> yes, sir! Suspecting neighboring nations. They leave in their wake a path of destruction, the likes of which have never been seen. In but a matter of days, once proud townships have fallen under the tyrannical boot heel of General Blastro, the Tan Nation's ruthless dictator, whose vision is to be the supreme ruler of all the world. As the Tan war machine rolls across the land, nation after nation succumbs to their oppressive rule, while the Tan army mercilessly slaughter all they encounter. But what of our boys on the front line, representing all the nations of the Alliance, the Green Army, led by Colonel Happy Jack Grimm, have mobilized forces and headed for the front line. And we will not stop until General Plasco and his Tan army are defeated. Outnumbered, the Green Army fights tooth and nail to preserve our freedom. So our heroes battle to let justice arise from tyranny and oppression, fighting day in and day out to deliver us all from the tan menace. We can only join together for a swift victory and a speedy homecoming. soldier ever won a war by melting for his country. He won it by making the tan soldier melt for his country. Now, some of you may have heard that this war is unwinnable, that the tan army has developed amazing weapons of destruction, that going up against them is suicide. Well, I say that's a load of hooey. Believe me, you know exactly what to do when you step into a puddle of melted plastic that used to be your best friend. Now I'm not gonna lie and tell you this will be easy. They've got us outgunned and outnumbered 50 to one. <laughs> Sounds like good odds to me. The 10 are the enemy. Wade into them, melt their plastic. War is not black and white, it is green and 10. All right then, that's all I gotta say. Oh, and one more thing. 